Hey, Curious here. I just had a thought. Um, okay, I've been talking about how great America would be if, you know, it had the Arcade Initiative and Thermal Depolymerization. In other words, it was a, uh, nationalist block like well not nationalism I, I don't know I it, it, the terminology fails but in any case I've described it enough anybody who wants to see it can go to my blog or go to friggin any of my videos on Arcadia or or thermal depolarization or anything like that in any case let's say America did this now the problem with an isolationist um policy, as well as a protectionist one, is I think, oh, well, I believe that internationalist trade is there not just for commerce, but it's a way for friggin' the major countries like China and Russia and Germany and, you know, the second, second tier nations, they're all modern industrial nations, to make nice with each other. So, what happens if America closes for business, starts internalizing its infrastructure, and only starts trading with Canada and Mexico? Well, that forms a block. And keep in mind that this is a near post-scarcity resource. So, what that means is that they'll be trading with, like, carbon credits, the way they trade with each other, in the city states I described, county by county. Not states, but just various energy warrants that trade carbon between each other. And this is the way the Arcadia Initiative functions. So, what would that mean on international trade, like China? You know, because anytime you get something going good or loosen something up, something else would go to hell. Well, you would have the War on Tyrants. And some people would call it the Tyrants War. You know, to change it around. I mean, first you had the War on Communism. Then you had the War on Drugs. Then you had the War on frigging Crime. No, crime, yeah. Drugs, Crime, and then Terrorism. So after Terrorism... There would have to be frigging tyrants. The difference would be is that America, in becoming an energy rich society, would give up its claim on internationalism. And that could be disastrous because, well, basically, China will jump in, and who's to say they follow the Arcadia Initiative? They might follow, they might use that technology because none of it's going to stay hidden. It's all open anyway. But they're going to take that model and they're going to go by the uh, open markets and they're going to exploit them and they're going to build up their resources. They say they're going green and they'll probably follow the example of other things but you see by the regulations and stuff that they're only going to exploit it to their end. And the international market's not going to go away. So while America's fixing its infrastructure and stuff, there's going to be conflicts. The, like the war on terror, which is like a almost a growing pain of the post-Cold War to do with corporatism and oligarchies and international tensions from this new <coughs> well, new world order, this new uh, not the fictional one, but the more of the internationalist trade that goes on, if America pulls away from that, there's a power vacuum. But okay, let's say America fixed itself with the Arcade Initiative. And, well, you have the War of Tyrants. Because what would happen is it would be like the War on Terror, but since everybody's trading information, the the military industrial complex would go high tech it would you'd think there wouldn't be a need for war if everything was contained but security will become an issue and then information will become an issue and then you'll get 
smaller countries or tyrant states trying to come up on that in the past way <coughs> other countries did with oil or using thermal depolymerization in less ethical means. I mean, if you haven't considered it, the the TDP process creates a bio biomass to oil of all things, and people are biomass. People and forests and everything organic and plastic. So, if you've got that, you've got a great potential for well misconduct basically and that brings up a lot of ethical areas about how it would apply in arcade industry as well but I haven't touched upon those yet like burying the dead um um uh cadaver rights um and which I hope to be which I would see as more of an extension of uh health rights and your right to you know not be bitty bitty bits that go into the sump you know basically to put it bluntly and and those would actually be improved on the rights we have today because you'd be surprised how little rights you have if you don't pay for a big expensive funeral and all that you have practically no say there's not a pretty little plot on the hill there's cadavers there's medical research there's medical summaries there's there's all kinds of things that they could decide to do with you after you have stopped being you in any case and then there's questions about war in itself well that would have to be like you would get conflictions in warring blocks in probably lines of attrition like between the North America and South America because there's a large ag base there there would be a lot of conflict in that area because it's local and yet it would probably wind up right in the middle of freaking Central America yeah that kind of war you know and let's face it fighting coca and poppies and everything else that could be a, not just a market but an actual drug market that would just explode especially with a resource rich societies picking up because of uh, advanced medical and pharmaceutical needs especially in the rainforest and stuff and then there's the problem of eco um, survival especially in a in a society or a culture where America has become a um, a bio uh, bio waste renewable society that's a big impression you leave on the world and everybody else is going to be like oh okay and jump on that bandwagon and that's a lot of problems and then of course the Middle East is going to be completely um, uh, destabilized because their their oil is becoming um, devalued at a massive rate but it's still a lot of oil so they'll just be gushing it out and when that doesn't go all that money and all that freaking conflict and political positions like Israel in the middle of that what is now a resource depleted area is going to go and then you got Islam and you know yada yada and you know, and all those things, and people exploding everywhere, and who knows, you know. Uh, I would say there'd be a lot of fourth generation atomic and uh, futuristic weaponry, too, because when Hafium comes out, because there'll be a lot of research into high technology, and if you didn't know, Hafium is atomic battery. It's a nuclear isomer that can hold electricity for a lot longer. So while the need to have a way to store electrical energy grows both for civilian and um, <laughs> you know uh, military needs the need 
the resource that it can be used to exploit for rogue states and stuff would be equally increased. And therefore you have the future dilemma of a post... Well, now I can't say post-scarcity because you'll never... I don't believe in post-scarcity. Because I don't believe, if anything else, you if, even if you get it for a minute, you quickly run out of land. There's no way human beings can have a real post-scarcity. But they have can have a minimum scarcity that is almost would be like post-scarcity does. And in case you don't know, that's a energy rich uh, superstructure. And by energy, I mean resource rich. Which is information um, land, well not land well yeah land because there would be a lot of superior building structures and resources to do that on what would be otherwise inhospitable areas so information land uh, labor because of cheap energy electricity and um, resources or materials because of the TDP process that recirculates and reallocates uh, materials and for reuse plastics and stuff as well as bringing the ability to take coal and put it into a fuel and then build materials from that in any case, um, that's where the rogues war, I mean, the tyrants war would be. Although an alternative name could be a rogues war. War on rogues. No. War on tyrants. Or the tyrants wars. And that's how that future would progress in Arcadia rich society. Uh, everything slumps to Bethlehem. Or, yeah, let's say, yeah, and that's my thought. As I had laying in the tub, freaking thinking about how everything would go to shit, you know, in case anybody goes, well, what if you ever get that? Well, this is how it goes to shit, basically. Nothing's perfect. Bye.